vlog. I'm in one of my favorite places here in Napa, and we are at the Allwell Metal Fabrication Shop. Today, we are working on our solution for mad chatter. So grab a grinder, grab your welder, and let's get to it. Hey Builder Vlog. So here's a quick tip I learned from the professional welders here at Allwell. This is the difference between a robot that breaks and a robot that doesn't break. Um, something Matt told, taught me to get really, really good welds on everything, you need to chamfer all the leading edges. This allows the weld bead to get much deeper into the metal and get you a much stronger bond. If you've always wondered how Scorpios takes really big hits and doesn't fly apart, it's because of the awesome welding techniques I got to learn here at All Welds. Excellent. Now one thing you want to do when you're grinding is make sure you're in the appropriate clothes. Soft cotton can actually catch on fire from these sparks. So we usually try to wear some actual welding equipment, either a flak jacket, gloves. I know I'm not wearing that here, but I'm actually in some mountain climbing pants that are I got from REI that seem to just take the sparks really well. So please make sure to wear closed-toed shoes, safety glasses, and even a respirator if you're going to be doing long hours in a welding shop. Now, you guys might notice I'm welding a whole bunch of different things today. Uh, so this is a new anti-vertical setup. It's a riff on the one we used against Jackpot. And then we have another anti-vertical setup we're making here. Uh, this is a riff on the one we used against Hypershock. And <laughs> one of the reasons I'm not specifically saying which one I'm going to use against Mad Catter is I'm waiting to see what they bring. Um, I'm putting together a whole big bag of tricks. You might notice there's four to five different armor sets being made in this video. And thank you again, all well, for your patience with me as I continue to ask for this giant bag of tricks. But uh, you want to have all this stuff in your toolbox, this arsenal in your toolbox. So when Mad Catter shows up with something crazy, um, I have the appropriate answer to switch to. And so we designed a whole bunch of different things. Van Bever Brothers bent up all these amazing uh, AR-400 wedges, and we just welded them together. Thank you, Matt. All right, Dover Vlog. You've been telling me for years to put a wheelie bar on it. So now we're finally going to do it. We're going to take our turtle shell arm, we're going to cut it here and here, and we're going to take this chunk and weld it down here to turn this into a wheelie bar. Unfortunately, the nice one you saw me pad in an earlier episode will not be here in time for the fall face-off. So, we are going to make one out of the parts we have laying around in the true maker fashion. I want you to know, I can already hear the comment section of like, that took him 10 minutes. Why, why did it take him five years to put a wheelie bar on this robot? It's because I was trying not to be like Sawblaze. By the way, before anyone says I stole this from Sawblaze, I'm gonna cut to this clip where I asked Jameson's permission to copy his robot. I have to admit, for years, I have been trying not to copy stuff off your robot but this season has finally convinced me I'm so sick of the wheelies. I need to do what you've done and drop the arm to the ground. Mm. I have literally not been doing that as all my teammates are like, you should do that. I'm like, no, it'll make us look more like saw blades. There'll be more confusion. <laughs> uh, I, I, I appreciate that. I know that it's, it's kind of been like a sticking point for, for our teams to say, we, we want to kind of create this identity. I know that, uh, we had this. We had like the lime green, and you had a different, like a blue. We green. had jade. Jade. Jade was the color. Yeah, and then you distinctly changed to a blue 
to avoid that. And like, I really appreciate those efforts. Um, some, but as is with most vertical spinners, it's kind of hard to ignore some, some things which are working really well. So everyone kind of borrows from each other. And, you know, if, if that's what's, what's got to be, that's what's got to be. I mean, Scorpio still has a very distinctive look, regardless if the arm is in the air or if it drops down a little bit, a few more degrees. So I think people that know Scorpios and know Sables, it's not going to make a difference then. And I want to say a big shout out to the All Weld crew. For years they've helped make my robot better, and I really don't have the right words to thank them for all the effort they've put into this. I have lost count of the number of days I have spent in their shop, the number of hours they have spent making my robot better. And they always, everybody has a smile on their face, and they're always excited to see the robot. If you guys ever need any welding, this is the place to go and the people you should contact. So once again, thank you all, Weld. I'll tell you what, folks. It's Martin Mason here from Mad Catter, and we are excited to announce we're going to be there at the face-offs. Yeah, we are. I'll tell you what. And I'll tell you somebody we're facing. We're facing Scorpios. And I'll tell you what we've been doing. Extensive research. I'll tell you, we've got a plan for them. We're going to take them down. When we're done, we're going to turn Scorpios into pot roast. See you there. You might think you know me. You might think you've done your homework, done your research, but you're about to turn it in late. That's right, Mason. I'm going to declaw your cat. I'm going to turn you into trash, and it's going into recycling. And I'm going to separate the cans from the waste. So get ready, because Scorpios is coming for you.